Hello everyone and welcome to this series. This is a series focused on teaching you Java but through examples. So the main focus of this series is teaching you the fundamentals of object-oriented programming. And along with teaching you the fundamentals of object-oriented programming, there will be coding exercises throughout this series that will force you to put into practice what we have covered so far. And in the format of these coding exercises, I try my best to highlight and go into detail in each line of code. I think doing this is very beneficial because it will not only help you understand object-oriented programming in detail, but it will also help you connect that concept to actual practice, right? So you're not just sitting down watching me explain a bunch of concepts, you are also putting into practice what we have talked about. So like I said, the structure of this series is focused on teaching you the fundamentals behind object-oriented programming. Um, and we have chosen Java to do so. You can basically use other programming languages to implement classes and objects, but Java is, I think, a very good beginner programming language to learn the concept of object-oriented programming. So some prerequisites will be beneficial prior to watching this video. So I would expect you to know common concepts when it comes to programming, like functions, um, common data types like integers, doubles, um, strings will be also beneficial. Um, basically understanding how a structure of a code is. Those common concepts will help you very much as you watch this series. If you are not familiar with these concepts, I will link a video down in the description below. Um, this is a video I made a while back, but basically if you watch the video, it should help you understand these concepts and you can come back to this video once you have these concepts down. So this first video that you will be watching will be a quick introduction into object-oriented programming and mostly Java in general. So it will help us set up an environment in Java, um, set up a class in Java, and also bring some elements of object-oriented programming into that practice as we set up these classes. So this will be just a quick introduction to Java. We will be printing out Hello World and basically setting up an IDE with IntelliJ. So um, without further ado, just watch this video. Hello everyone and welcome to this series on learning Java. What this video offers is a chance to learn Java by doing examples. Um, for every example that is done, a step-by-step -step explanation of the key ideas that are important are explained. So this is the first episode and what we'll be doing is writing a script that prints out hello world in Java. The first thing that we have to do in order to even start coding is to install an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Um, this allows you to write and compile code on your computer. The IDE that I'll be using is called IntelliJ. So to download IntelliJ, you go to Google, type in IntelliJ, and then click on their website. Afterwards, you want to make sure you follow the prompts and download the correct version for your operating system. Um, I'm on Mac, so I will just pick the one for Mac. Um, you want to pick the Community Edition because that is free for everyone to use. So I already have IntelliJ installed, so I will not go through the entire process on how to install this app on your computer. Um, if you're here, I'm pretty sure that you know how to install something on your computer. Okay, so now that we have that finished, you would want to create a new project in IntelliJ. Name it whatever you want, and then we can just start coding from there on. Okay, before we write this program, I want to do a quick refresher on object-oriented programming because this is what Java is based off from, right? There are countless books and even videos on YouTube that will allow you to go in depth, but here just a quick thumbnail description of what object-oriented programming is. The concept behind object-oriented programming is to create objects, which are packages of information and procedures, right? So information is data, and procedures can be considered as algorithms or functions. So an object can contain data and functions. Java calls functions methods, so just keep that in mind. The way we make this object is just by using a class to make the object. A class is just a framework for the object. It just allows you to create them. So as we go through future episodes, we will improve on this idea. But for now, this is all you need to know. Okay, now in order to start programming in Java, you need a class, right? And in order to create a class, this is what you have to do. 
So after you've downloaded IntelliJ, you should have a screen like this. To create a class, right click on the SRC folder and click class. This should create a class for you. Um, you give it a class name that you want to name it and then we can just begin coding. So then, let me just explain what each word means. The word public is called an access modifier. It controls who has access to your class or your framework. And next we have the keyword called class. This is the keyword that tells your compiler that indeed this is a class and we are about to do some coding. And then we have the name that we just gave to the class. And as we all know, in order to run anything, you need a main function, right? So in Java, like I said, functions are called methods. So we will need a main method. The way you create a main method is you type PSVM. IntelliJ will automatically build the main method for you. Again, you see the same word public. We already explained what that meant. And then we have another word called static, which unlike public is a non-access modifier. The reason why most main methods have the word static is because since this is the place you will actually run your code, you wouldn't want other people to have the ability to change it, right? Okay, so there are access and non-access modifiers that exist. Um, by the way, if you wanna check all of them out, I'll leave a link in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. So right after that, we have the name of the method that we just gave, which is main. And then we have this thing uh, inside of the parameter. Well, the reason this is there is because it specifies what input we'll be receiving into this method, right? We will be receiving strings in the form as arguments or arrays. So that is well, that's what all that means. Most main methods have this inside of its parameter. Okay, so to print out hello world, this is what you have to do. You type system.out.println and then hello world. That is it. System is a class, right? It's a class that is a part of the JVM, which stands for Java Virtual Machine. Downloading Java brings with it its own classes stored in libraries. So that is why we have access to this system class. So now we have a class called system and then we have these dots, right? The dot operator allows you to access a member of an object. So remember that I mentioned that objects have data and procedures, right? In order to access them, you just use this dot operator. Out is the member of the class system. Um, it is just an object. It's an object of the class system. So obviously this object out has procedures and functions inside of it. And one of the procedures and functions that it has inside of it is called print line, which is what we're using. So print line allows you to print something to the terminal screen. Okay, so some basic stuff about print line. Once it prints something to the terminal screen, it automatically adds a new line. If you don't want to use or you don't need that new line, you can use another method inside of the out object, which is called printf. And once this prints something to the terminal screen, it does not add a new line. And that is it for this video. Um, if this is something you are interested in, please let me know and I will make more. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment on the video. See you on the next episode.